right there. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up guys? And welcome back to LSJ TV. Just on the first set of today's workout, today's gonna be a chest day. Walk through my first session of the new year. And to be honest, because I haven't trained for another couple of days, I just wanted to uh, actually test my strength and see how I was after all the Christmas food, the Christmas buffet. So, we've gone straight in with 90 kilos. We managed to get four reps, which is fine, because I only just did 100 for one. So to be honest, if I had a spot, I would have gone for another one and probably could have got fifth. But that's that, I'm happy with that for now. I'm gonna shut Ed Sheeran up in the background so don't get copyrighted. See you guys in the rest of the video. Right guys, so today's session is kind of just going to be playing around with a few different things. We're going to stick to a routine, but kind of change the rep ranges and the weights around to what I would normally do. It's my first session back of the new year, because I actually, it's the 2nd of January at the time of filming this, and uh, to be honest, I scheduled an off day for New Year's Day, purely because I knew that it was going to be a, a write-off. I knew that New Year's Eve, me and Charlotte were going to go over to Nottingham, we had a great time, we didn't film anything, just enjoyed the night, and uh, Happy New Year everyone by the way, this is the first video of the New Year, so I hope you all had a good one and spent the holiday period with your families and your friends, and your loved ones, so yeah, like I was saying, anyway, get back on with the video later. Um, I'm just going to be kind of playing around with it a little bit today, just, like I said, just did 90 with, for a few reps, so we're going to try that again, and then we'll move on to the next movement. Okay, so I felt a little twinge there, but I was just saying to Charlotte a minute ago how I actually kind of stopped doing the bent over row for a good, uh, probably two, three weeks at least I didn't do bent over row. The reason was my wrist. I get a lot of pain and I don't know whether it's a kind of like carpal tunnel-y kind of thing, because that's what my dad has. So, without sounding like a drama queen, the reality is that that's a possibility. So, I had to take it easy and use machines instead of something like this. All I, all I would do instead, put it at the bottom. If you know G of the channel, you'll know this exercise. Put it at the bottom. You think about it, you simulate a row. There you go. Simple as that, guys. Your training doesn't have to stop just because you have an injury or a little bit of a nickel. You can kind of work around it just like that. Thanks. Eight. Nine. used to go to 10 on incline. <laughs> Thought I'd try it again today. Like I said earlier, playing around with the rep range is just having fun with the session. So we've got the bench and slightly lowered this. Uh, we've got the flat bench, slightly lowered this, and gone for higher rest instead. Like I said, mixing it up, have some fun with it. So next up is gonna be narrow grip pull-ups. Like I said, just mixing up on the routine ever so slightly more than last time. So more than last time, more than usual. So instead of grabbing here and here, we're gonna grab here and here. Just doing a narrow grip using the back ever so slightly differently. Hopefully we'll make a little bit of difference. Maybe we'll get a dom, maybe get a little bit of dom, who knows. Right, go for eight, because we're halfway through the workout. <laughs> Do. I'm really, really weak on pull-ups. I have no idea why, because I have quite a thick, wide back. So you'd think that I'd have quite a strong back, but that's not necessarily the thing. The thing that gets leanest the first as well is my back, but that just shows how body fat and like how it looks doesn't necessarily correlate to the amount of strength you might have in that muscle. Like I have a lot thicker of a bicep, so these are 23.5 kilo dumbbells. I could probably pick one up and just curl that, hammer curl, but if I went to go and supinate and curl that, I would struggle, because you, your muscles work in different ways, ever so slightly. People expect their muscles to work in a way that they're just not going to, and so if I was disappointed or got beat myself up for the fact that I couldn't supinate and curl the same I could hammer curl, then you're just not going to get anywhere, guys. You're just going to accept your weaknesses, realise your strengths, and turn those weaknesses into those strengths. That is what I'm doing with pull-ups. I try and do pull-ups minimum of twice a week because I'm so shit at them. The fact that I 
only weigh about 80 kilos and can only do 8 pull ups is shit. Especially considering I've been training for so long. So that's why I'm just trying to do as many different variables as possible. Grabbing it here, grabbing it here, maybe doing a neutral grip, a wide grip, something like that. Just mixing it up, trying to make my training interesting, surprising the muscles, and hopefully making some more gains. <laughs> Now that is difficult. New Year's resolution, train more abs. Whew. Right, okay guys, so it's time for the title of today's video. Let's get on to the actual talking, sitting down, just me and you, well actually stood up, but you know what I mean, talking just me and you to the camera about today's video, and that is my goals for 2018. So it's obviously the brand new year, along, along with that comes New Year's resolutions, and so new goals, new attitudes to life, and just new behaviours in general. So I'm going to tell you guys a few of my goals, and hopefully that can help you guys, and just kind of keep you guys in the loop. So I'll split this into three sections. Gym goals, social media goals, and life goals. So let's start off with social media. Obviously, this is on social media, and so that kind of makes sense, right? What I generally say, in, in, and what I said last year, is a goal that I absolutely smashed out the water. I had 200 subscribers at the beginning of last year, and by the end, wanted 400. Because the general rule that I had with YouTube is that I wanted to double it, double whatever I had, right? So I wanted 200 to 400 subscribers. We achieved 400 subscribers a good couple of months ago now, and we're actually past. 600 on our way up to 700. So on New Year's Day of 2018, I had 633 subscribers. And so in a nutshell, I want to double that. That means that by New Year's Day 2019, I want to have 1,266 subscribers on this channel. Anything more than that, because you know, everyone knows with YouTube it kind of goes as a snowball effect. So anything more than that, that's just a bonus and that's amazing. But that is the goal to, abs to just literally double what I had in the first place. Now, of course, you guys know if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, or if you found me through Instagram, that is another form of social media that I share my life on. So Instagram, LSJ underscore fitness, it will be linked in the description. As always, I actually had 1,850 something, but to be honest with you guys, I think with the quality update, you know, I mean, I've got plans to buy new cameras and, you know, up just I'm getting better at editing and making things look better and just in general my Instagram game over the last couple of months and that was shown by my 2017 best nine, the fact that eight out of nine photos have been in the last sort of ten weeks. That shows that I'm now sort of learning and learning how how Instagram works and the kind of stuff that you guys want to see on Instagram. So realistically. I would actually like to have 5,000 followers just because that's a, just a big number that you know kind of attract a few more people and then like I say with YouTube it can be a snowball effect from there as well so 5,000 would be I mean it's a big target because it's way it's way more than double it's about you know two and a half three times the amount that I have now but I think with your guys help we can do it so that is the two sort of numbers what I want in numbers for uh, for social media but in terms of another form of social media that I want to use, in the new year, as, a, as one of my new year's resolutions, I would like to start using Twitter more. It's something that is really good for interacting with you guys. There's lots of banter on Twitter and there's just a lot of people to communicate with. You know, millions and millions of users on, on Twitter. So I would like to sort of, you know, maybe put a tweet up every single day, something like that. Just something small to start off with, because to be honest, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Twitter. I've never really used it too much. And so if I can get involved in it one way or another, get the kind of commu community going on that field as well, then that would be really good in my opinion. So moving on to gym goals. As you guys can see, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you'll know this brick wall very, very well. I'm actually stood, you've got you guys stood up on the power rack right now. I'm in my home gym and I have a couple of targets that I would like to hit numbers wise. Um, in the gym as well. So not only with social media, but in in the gym. In the gym, I do want to hit specific numbers. I don't like to get too focused on it. But you guys have just seen me do my one rep max and go absolutely nuts because of it. Ah, yes! Come on! Yes. Fucking come on! <laughs> Fucking come on! Hug me! 
Yeah! That was a very important day for me because I finally hit 100 kilos. And to be honest, by the end of 2018, I would love to be repping that out for three sets of eight. Like, I'm not even just gonna say I want to hit it for a few reps. I'm gonna say on camera to you guys right now, by the end of 2018, I want to be repping out that 100 kg. My current one rep max, I would love, 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 love. And I know that with the correct diet, the correct training plans, the correct progressive overload that I've started to implement them into my training properly, I know that I can do that by the end of this year. I just, I just know I can. The second of my long-term gym goals would be to not only bench the 100, but actually use that ab machine over there amongst other ab exercises, whether that's a cable crunch or just doing like ab circuits or something like that. I need to train abs more. I train abs once a week at most. To be honest, I, I, I love everything about the gym. I love it, love it, love it. It's my passion. It's my favorite thing to do on earth, right? But, I just hate training abs, man. I, I really, really hate it. And I, I, I use excuse after excuse to put it off and I've just got to stop doing that, guys. If I want to develop my physique evenly, especially because my abs are my weakest point, that not only like strength and endurance wise, but it's where I hold the most fat as well. So it makes it look twice as bad. So training abs minimum of twice a week, three times a week if I can, whether that's circuits or resistance work or something, just doing something to work out my abs properly. On to section number three, and that is life goals. And there's a few of these, but they're nice and short, simple ones, which is the way it should be, because at the end of the day, they've got to be achievable. So what I want to do in this year is obviously graduate from university because I'm in third year now, my final year, doing my dissertation and all that kind of stuff. So I would love to graduate from university this year. I mean, obviously, right? On top of that, I'd love to keep expanding my business, the LSJ fitness kind of things. As you guys can see, I've got the hat on now, not so much the shirt, but um, yeah, so I would love to keep expanding that kind of things. And on top of that, have a few consistent online clients at the end of the year. I mean, a few might not sound like a lot, but you know, I mean, that would be more than good enough for me, for what I have in mind for it anyway at this point in time and I suppose that that's about it really guys I mean there's there, there's three solid goals that I would like to do in terms of just general life but I, I mean I guess you could say just sort of carry on the philosophy of what I have on this channel I always say at the end of at the end of every single video I say as always remember no regrets and now there's probably a few of you quite a lot of you in fact that don't really know what that means I, I mean at the end of the day, the, the meaning behind it is that you never know what's around the corner. Anything can, a, a, anything, literally anything can change your life in a click of a finger and you can't do anything about it. And so the, the meaning behind the no regrets thing is that you, you need to just carry on, just seize every single moment because at the end of the day, you, as cliche as it sounds, you know, you might not have a tomorrow. Someone then, you know, something could happen in your life. You could lose someone, so you, something could, terrible could happen to you. I mean, it sounds horrible, guys, but it's a possibility. And so if you live every single day to the fullest, if you make the most of every single opportunity, you seize those opportunities and you have no regrets, then you can't go far wrong, can you really? So that, that, that would, I, as long as I carry on doing that, I mean, as long as I'm happy, then, you know, that's all that really matters, in, in my opinion, anyway. So uh, you can't, uh, you, 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 just, you just can't put, you know, your, your, your physical and mental health over, over anything. So as, as long as I'm happy uh, throughout 2018 and, and beyond, you know, I'm, um, um, then I'm good, to be honest, guys. Even, even if it means that I don't hit that I don't hit the rest of them, as long as I'm happy, then you know I'm I'm good. So, right. That is going to round off today's video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. As always, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are looking forward to amazing content in 2018. Thanks so much, as always, guys. Don't forget, I'm doing online coaching now, so send me a DM or drop a comment down below or something like that if you are interested in that, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. Together, we will grow in 2018. Let's smash this new year, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. See you guys in the next video. Woo! New year!